Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Warship Gunner 2. In the last episode, we used our carrier to help find the destroyer Ratatosk, and also to... Do we do something else? Do we do a mission before that? Or after that? There was another mission where we used an interceptor loadout. 240, yeah, that we stopped the enemy invasion force. And we used a whole bunch of interceptors to keep the planes off of us. And today, we're actually going to go back to an old mission because there is something we can get. I pointed out in mission 210 that there is a land base which you need a helicopter to get the treasure from. We did not have a helicopter at that point, but now that we do, I want to go back there and get it. So we're going to switch out our F-22 Raptors for our... whoops, uh, whoop, whoops, wrong buttons. Uh, we're going to switch out our Raptors for... not Interceptors, Fighters, the Su-37J, yes. There we go, we'll have two helicopters just in case something goes wrong, um, but yeah, alright. With that, let's head back to mission 210. Well, actually, let's look at some R&D first so that we can be getting something done while we are playing this mission here. Um, let's see, artillery launchers, do 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 aircraft, what do I want, what do I want? Hulls, let's see. Um, hmm, I wonder if we can get a high-level destroyer hull. Yeah, let's get uh, this high-level destroyer hull here. We also will need to get all the way down the destroyer line at some point here, as well as the cruisers, because they, whoops, if you, there we go, they get down to here and will unlock uh, frigates. Once you have frigates, you can get helipads on your other ships, so yeah, we'll be getting down there eventually, but I think the top tier destroyer, whoa, hold up here, it's going a little squirrely. What does this thing look like, anyways? Okay, yeah, so it's the crazy... Uh, this is the crazy looking, extremely modern hull. <laughs> but, um, okay, there's that. Let's see, artillery, machine guns, we can get some CIWS. Yes, we can. Um, rapids, I never use rapids. I know a lot of people swear by them, but I've, I've tried them and I just don't like them that much. But, you know, that's just me. Oh, ooh, we can get, uh, we can get more for this. Here, more barrels and higher caliber, good. Um... Doesn't hurt to keep going down the big guns, because eventually we're going to need them. Um, I know that our systems are pretty much set for a while here. So, yeah. Systems are set for quite a while. Uh, engines, engines? We're going to need new engines eventually, but I don't think we can afford... Yeah, can't afford the next um, boiler. So we'll take the next submarine diesel engine instead. We have all those electric motors, all those turbines... Structures, um, it wouldn't hurt to get some better structures, I suppose. Let's see, we have, uh, where's our, there's our, whoops, whoa, hold up, there's our carrier stuff. Oh, wait, we're, yeah, we're a little low on money. All right, with all that, we'll just go ahead and hop into 210 here and get that treasure. Uh, training and 210. Let's see how different this goes having a uh, an aircraft carrier versus... Did we do uh, we used the battleship last time, didn't we? Because I thought this was going to be uh, I thought this was going to be dual crater when I was getting my missions mixed up. All right, here we go. We're going to launch the uh, uh, fighters here. And we're going to head this way. I'm just going to kill all the ships first, and then we'll get the treasure at the end of that. But I'm going to just kill everything first here. Uh, we should have probably uh, done some auto upgrades. I bet we have some new systems or something on here. Maybe not. That might be auto reload system four there. I don't know. I'll tell you the truth, I I, I have no idea. Cause it's like I've seen uh, the end game uh, auto reload systems, and it's like <laughs> it's night and day. I mean, it doesn't even compare to this with with how ridiculous the uh, the multiplier gets. But so. To me, everything looks slow compared to that. But, I'm gonna kill this Nelson and then kill the rest of these guys. Yes. Yes! Show me that big flat target. There we go. Whoa, no, not the planes. The ship's right in front of me. This game has a bad habit of um, not targeting the thing that you're actually pointing your reticle at, which is really annoying. But, still easier than Worship Gunner 1. <laughs> or even Naval Ops Commander. Which uh, was supposed to snap your reticle onto stuff, but for certain things that didn't really work. When things were moving a little too fast. Let's fire off some illumination flares. I want to grab that funds crate there. 
I would launch my helicopters now to help me pick up crates and stuff, but I, whoops, I was holding R1 the whole time. Um, I really don't want them to die, because I need them, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and do this part myself here. These crates. There we go, and then my planes are working over the enemy, uh, the enemy fleet that spawned up here. Oh wait, that's the, uh, that's the other carrier fleet, that's not even the, uh, the reinforcement fleet. Come here, you. Where you at? Oh gosh, oh gosh, look at all the fun crates. This is awesome. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Go faster. Go faster, carrier. I can't, uh, oh, there we go. I figured they were in range, but I didn't have the right weapon selected. I know there's a fun crate, like, straight in front of me here. There we go. We'll let uh, the high angles take care of this for a little bit here while we search around for fun crates that I want. Seen more yet. Mm -hmm. Go, I angle guns. SPD Dauntless, really? Blenheims? Taking off from a carrier? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Haven't lost any of our planes yet, but uh, there we go. Go ahead and fire that off. Where the heck did the rest of my fun crates go that I saw? There goes one of the carriers. I think we've actually killed two carriers in this group now. There's the other carrier. There's another funds crate. There's a funds crate back there. Fire off another one of those flares quick. Give me the funds crate. Give me the funds crate. Parts and funds. But the funds might be sinking. I think the funds are going to sink. Yeah. Oh well. Shoot. Give me this. Parts great though. Before that goes away. Kill this fleet up here. And if you're wondering what this treasure is and why we want it so badly, it is Jap uh, Japanese Carrier 5. Yes, Japanese Carrier Hull number 5. So much like um, the battleship that you get from doing 130 with an S rank, uh, this is another case of like, you can have something really, really good just for doing something extra, but, uh, yeah. And it's, like, it's pretty amazing that you can get, like, a, a carrier 5, uh, or tier 5 carrier hull, and, like, this early in the game, it's a little ridiculous, but the U.S. carrier hull 5 is better, but it's harder to get to, so, but I'll take a free, uh, tier 5 carrier hull. I don't care that much what nation it is. I like American stuff, uh, as you all well know, but um, if you're going to give me that good of a hole this early for free, I'm not going to complain. It's not completely free. You have to have a helicopter and, and a starting carrier, at least, to uh, to launch it, but... Hmm, let's see here. Oh, they're already working over the base. Well, then we better get over there, because they're going to hit that and um, blow it up, and then the parts crate's going to be sitting there, and the parts crate, as far as I'm aware... Uh, on land, it will sink, quote unquote. But it will, it will basically. It does a timer like any other crate where crates in the water would sink. This one will just disappear, as far as I'm aware. Maybe not, but I don't want to take that chance. So we're gonna get over here and yeah, they're hitting it. They're not doing that much damage, incredibly. But come here. I just want to get. I want to make sure I'm closer to it than to any other random crates that might be around, because that's what the helicopters are going to go for. They just go for whatever's closest when you launch them. There. Okay. Now we'll launch the helicopters. They should go get that, and we're going to head south to intercept the other fleet. Yes, they're going for it. Good. We're going to have a new carrier hole for ourselves. Thankfully, my uh, aircraft are still working on the enemy fleet down there. I don't know how much damage they're actually doing, but they're uh, trying, at least. It looks like they're using mostly bombs for anti-ship purposes, which... Good. I uh, could explain why they aren't doing all that much damage, but... Go, go, go. They're also shooting down planes, so they're, they're pulling uh, two jobs here at once. Which is what they're designed for, but still, it makes them less good at each job. But I wanted something to be able to 
attack the ships while I was distracted here. They have their purpose. I'll fire off one of those. I don't think they've sunk anything. They put one ship on fire. I heard that call out. Let's see, where's the lead ship? Nelson. There we go. If I can make them all stop, then we'll be in good shape. Because their guns are going to do a whole bunch more damage to the land than the, uh, the, the planes will. The planes aren't going to be able to barely get off the deck because of my aircraft, but... There we go. Hey, you. Stop. And you... You. Oh, you're moving. Oh, did we get the, uh... Sweet. Nice. We must have got the other carrier, I guess. But let's go back and finish these guys off. Yes, we get the other carrier. That would have been the planes, actually, because I did not get the other carrier myself, so... Yeah. Cool. And I want to grab these funds crates. There's... Oh, there's so many funds crates around. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to most of them. But I want the money. I need the money. Give me, give me, give me. And there's that one. There's that one. Ah, oh, jeez. Which one do I go for? Well, the helicopters are on their way somewhere. I can see them. They're the two slow dots <laughs> on the mini map. They're coming. They might be going for that funds crate right now. Or they're going for that health crate. Really, I'm not sure. I don't see them exactly. Hmm. Oh. Oh, they're coming back to me. That's where they're going. Well, fine. I guess they are low on fuel. That one. Is there one out there? There is one out there. Well, let's go for it. I want all of the money. That, uh, that illumination flare makes a really crazy strobe effect down the deck there. They almost need an epilepsy warning before you launch each one. It's like, are you sure you want to do that? Gimme, 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 and there. Now I've got these crates, they should turn around and go for something else. They're going for that ammo crate. That funds crate's still there. It hasn't sunk yet. It's pretty amazing. I want it. As long as it's still there, I want it. Yep, I'm gonna go for it. Money, 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 money. Give me money. Yes, I has money. Okay, time to go. We've been in this mission long enough. Now, let's leave the area. Oh, I just turned down my headset on accident. There we go. And how much money did we get? Nice, 37,000 monies. We got some big guns there, too. Oh, look, a high-velocity gun. Japan Carrier 5. Silver Swan ninth class. Hey, that means I can get the four barrels for our, um, for our 10-inch guns. Nice. Let's go get that before I forget to. Just skip all that R&D stuff that we finished up there. And artillery, main guns, uh, we can get, where is it, there it is, the four barrels, good. Um, do I want to skip that research? It wouldn't be all that expensive to do it, and I think we should, yes we should. Alright, that, that, and this one, and if we do this one as well, yes, we can get this, and we can get this. Haha, nice. Um, let's see, let's get to... Let's get to... I don't want to waste all my money on big guns. We're going to try not to use battleships so heavily. Uh, what I do want is, because we're going to be going for cruisers, I would like to get down to a good cruiser. Let's see, so we're all the way down to cruiser 6. Can't get either of those right now. Um, UK cruiser 6 is going to be... Oh, let's see, 1050 health. That one's... Okay, whoopsies, not that one. Uh, oh... Wow, hold on here. 5,200, 1,700, that's going to be 600 more, but yeah. Okay, so it's definitely the UK cruiser in terms of weight. And this one can have, uh, well, they can both have two aircraft, but this one has more health as well. So we definitely want this guy first. We're going to go ahead and get the hull right now. Um, and we can start going down, where are they? Submarine hulls here. Yep. Um, and we'll get down to this tier as well. Whoa, that was expensive. A lot more expensive than I expected it to be. All right, 3250, 3400, 3500, and the weight is, yeah, it's going to be the Japanese one for sure here. Uh, 1200 health, 1300 health. Yeah, but this one has the most health. Let's see, 3400. So it's only a difference of 50 tons. But this one is 100 more health, which might be good. 
Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. 50 tons or 100 more health? I'm gonna go with 100 more health, honestly. 50 tons is not all that much in the grand scheme of things. So even on a submarine, it's not that much. Um, I have a little more money. What can I do with it? Hulls? No, no, no. Not hulls. Uh, structures is what I meant. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before any of that, launchers? No, we don't have missiles. Dang it. Uh, okay. Bridges. Let's see. Can we get some good cruiser bridges here? Or at least get some started. No, no. Okay, here we go. Let's see. What do we got? Uh, 9 and 4, 10 and 5. Well, that one wins. <laughs> There's no competition there. Uh, and we'll go ahead and fast research that now. So that's Cruiser 4. So what do we have down here for Cruiser 4? Can we get... Uh, let's see. Well, I can't get that one. Uh, 9 and 3, 8 and 3. 9 and 3. 36 command, 38 command. Ooh, sacrifice a radar to get... Two more command. Um, hmm, maybe. But does that go over the the forward? Does that like long beam facing forward or aft? Because that really does affect my decision. If that's facing forward, that's gonna block the smokestacks. So if it's facing aft, it'll go over top of the guns and it won't be an issue. But uh, hmm, <laughs> the UK one. The only reason I'm not thinking about this one is because it's really expensive or not expensive it's it's uh, expensive in space it's it's big so oh we'll go with the Japanese one and see what we get there we go all right let's hop out of this let's go design or redesign our cruiser we're gonna go ahead and scrap this one scrap it yes and we're gonna go ahead and do to do to do to do uh, hull type uh, cruiser, uh, six. There we go. All right, now that we have weight, um, let's see if we can go with, I want to go with six turrets. Whoopsies, sorry about that. Six turrets, but now they're going to be higher caliber and four barrels. Ah, uh, yes. So six turrets doesn't sound initially like an upgrade from the last ship, but it very much is because these are not six of the same turrets. All right, there's that. Um, they're real far forward. I don't like that so much. Let's go back them up a little bit. There we go. In terms of engines, we really haven't gotten better boilers yet. That's probably the next thing I need to go for. But, um, the boiler twos are the most efficient ones for quite a while in terms of, like, weight to... In terms of, um, output to weight ratio. So, but we are going to want to upgrade eventually. So there's that... 12 boilers, that'll work pretty well. Where is, why is there some invisible line there that I can't put stuff past? Okay, whatever. Um, 12 boilers, and let's get some armor here. Da -da 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 -da. 20 centimeters of armor. We can do better than that. There we go. Now, what if we uh, end up extending our VP here? One, and... Two, and that's not going to work, I can see right now. So what we're actually going to do is go like this, go like this, whoops, and go like that. No, that's not what I want. I want this. There we go. Except I want that to be down, because it looks better that way. Oh, come on now. Really? Really? Ah, uh, fine. You can be like that if you want to be like that. And up and there. All right, now we're quite a bit heavier. Let's go with the, uh, let's go back down to 20 centimeters. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Okay, still doing a decent speed, but we don't have everything on there yet. Uh, forward bridge, one, no, four, this one. The new one that we just got there. And smokestacks, we need 12 purge. Uh, this is a UK hull, so let's see if there's a decent UK smokestack. There is not. Oh, I forgot, that's the gimmick with the UK smokestacks, is they, uh, they don't purge a lot, so you have to use a lot more. Um, I suppose two smokestacks would look kind of cool anyway, so we'll go with two smokestacks. One and two. We'll make these, like, we'll space them out better so that they don't look so crammed, but I just want to know how much space we need for this. That does go forward. Wow, that's awful. Jeez. That's really terrible. Why would you ever... It, it completely blocks the smokestacks. Why would you ever want to do that? Oh my god. 
<laughs> That's ridiculous. Why wouldn't that go aft? If that went aft, it wouldn't be a problem. Damn, okay. Fine. I guess we'll put our, our illumination flares under that. Jeez. Rockets. Uh, illumination flares. Jeez. That's so dumb. Why does it do that? Face one backwards. There. Wow. Okay. That's amazing. Amazingly bad. Um, let's go with the rockets here. Anti-sub rockets. Oh uh, boy, we'll just slap those uh, back here somewhere. There we go. Yep. And then... Ooh, I have an idea as well. Let's go ahead. Because we have this, this high-tech weapon here, this mysterious gun. We'll go ahead and see if we can... Maybe we can fit this on here. Aha! Yes. Is it super heavy or not really? No, it's not. Good. Um, we're going to play with that a little bit. Systems. Uh, let's see. We want our... We want our auto countermeasures. We want our auto reload. We want our firing delay and electronic targeting. And we want our forward thruster before I forget about it. And we want our radar, we want our, uh, EM shield's not really useful yet because no one's using lasers. Uh, let's go with the fire extinguisher and the jammer. Let's go with both of those. Yeah, there we go. Um, armor we're done with basically searchlights, here we go. Let's go ahead and get some searchlights on there. Then we'll start putting on the AA guns. There, and... Jeez, where else? Um, back there, I guess. Oh, that's something else I almost forgot about. We need launchers. Yes, we need the big launchers that are tall, so that hopefully... Are these not going over the... Uh, I can't see what's going on up there. I guess they're not going over those. They're not. Okay. Hmm. Can I move this back a little ways here? Yeah. Not out. No, no, no. Okay. Let's make it symmetrical at least. There we go, and we'll find a place for the, uh, we'll find a place for the anti-sub rockets here. Let's see. New anti-sub rockets. Do do do. Okay, well, they won't go there, but they will go up here. Aha! And then we will go with our AA guns. Put the machine guns on first. And actually, we're gonna go with CIWS. Like so. And these, yep, yep. Okay, we go there. We'll go with our high angle guns because they're always so good. So our last cruiser could only have three pair of high angle guns. I want to try to go for four pair on this ship if possible. So we're just going to alternate these like this. Whoops. Nope. One over. There we go. And uh oh. Gonna have to scrunch it in a little bit here. Yep. Four pair. Good. Can we get. Five pair, or would I rather go with more CIWS? Let's go for five pair. Yes. And nope, not that. This. Can I get some more CIWS? Yes. Good. Excellent. All right. Well, we've got AA. We've got six four-barreled 75 caliber turrets for our main guns. We've got the uh, mysterious high-tech weapon on the back there, so that'll be cool. Um, I'm sure it does something really, really sweet, you know? Um, and let's see here, structures, anything else for the structures, nope, let's see, engines, and weapons, we're all good, armor aircraft, that's what I need, we need two of our scout planes, uh, actually, I wonder, let's go with the Seahawk, and then we have apparently a fighter of some sort, yeah, okay, well this one can do night missions, so it kind of automatically wins, what's it got, bombs and, uh, uh machine guns, okay, sure, We'll throw one of those on there, except I want to put that in, uh, here. We're gonna, no, no, no. Let's, we're gonna switch these. We're gonna leave you there. We're gonna move you to group B. All right, the Seahawk is in group B. Cool. We've got a, we've got a new cruiser. Um, you know, I would, uh, I would increase the number of boilers, but then we'd have to increase our purge, and then we'd have to deal with this stupid bridge. God, why does that go forward? <sighs> Let's try it. Let's figure out. If there's anything we can do about this situation here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wait. We might not be able to do this at all. No, we really can't. Okay. Never mind. It's fine. Da, 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 da. There we go. 41.2 knots. Frankly, that's not that bad. 
for for how heavily armed this thing is, I will take it. All right, we are over time. So in the next episode, we'll design the Japan Carrier 5, but we're out of time for this one. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and as always, hope to see you all in the next video.